What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be rebuilding the Atlanta Hawks a team with one of the brightest futures in the NBA I'm super excited to see what the Hawks can do with a fully healthy roster Once they trade for Clint Capella, he wasn't really healthy last year He didn't really get to play for Atlanta at all So I'm super excited to do this rebuild today And of course you guys know since these aren't realistic rebuilds we go crazy We trade for the weirdest players most randomest players and sometimes we just make god squads around here So Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into this Atlanta Hawks rebuild. Dang, it's not too much of a bang, but regardless, we get a better shooting guard for the season, and we also get a nice backup as well. Yes, we are trading Kevin Herter, which definitely could hurt us, Herter us down the way. Okay, I'm done. But anyway, Buddy Heald Bogey coming to the team, and Buddy Heald could be the new backcourt member next to Trey Young. So we'll have Trey Young, Buddy Heald, DeAndre Hunter, Collins, Capella, Bogey, Scala this year, Damian Jones, Kevin. Oh my gosh, this bench is not very good at all. The only thing I think I will do for the season is probably send some of these young guys to the G League, like Kevin Reddish, Bruno Fernando, and uh, or anyone else. I think I should sit in there. Probably not. I think that's all I'm going to do. So we're going to go ahead and simulate this first season. I think that's the only move I was really going to make for season number one. We got Buddy Healed. I don't really know if he's going to be a, a long-term player here, but I guess I just kind of want to start this video out with a trade. You guys know I love doing that. So let's go ahead and simulate this first season. See how things go with uh, Trey Young, Clint Capella, Collins, all healthy. And uh, hopefully we'll be a playoff team uh, like I expect the Hawks to possibly be next year. Like the actual MVP that should have won in real life does win MVP in 2K21. All right. Yeah, I know some of you probably wanted to hear that. Some of you probably don't agree with Giannis winning MVP. I just want you guys to remember it is a regular season award. So don't go in the comments saying, hey, Giannis got swept in the playoffs. Yeah, we all know that. We we, we are very, or I guess he didn't get swept, but he got beaten five regardless. Yeah, we know. Okay, don't worry about it. But hey, uh, you know what? Giannis did some pretty interesting things in his interview. As he says, the agents will take care of him on the Bucks or a different team. I'm sure the rumors are even more swirling out there Giannis is only helping the rumors out there but regardless we are the second seed in the east playing the miami heat who are out two to zero on the boston celtics looking pretty good thus uh so far but i was about to say thus right now but i didn't know if that makes sense trey young 36 buddy Hill 21 collins with 16 bogey with 16 okay i didn't expect bogey to have this much of an impact for us but the man went off so i low-key might need to resign him but he actually had a really good season for us as well, shooting very efficiently. So, you know what? He might be low-key a guy I need to keep around as well. I wasn't sure what I was going to do, but we are the second seed. I still want to upgrade this team, but we are playing Miami, which we all know Miami's scary. You know, Miami really believes this Tyler Harrow guy is going to be better than Devin Booker one day. I've seen reports on that. You know what? I don't know if it's uh, going to happen, but it's like Tyler Harrow definitely could be a great player one day. Kyle Lowry, Terrence Davis, OG Siakam, Ibaka, Fred... Gasol, Norman Powell, and it looks like the Knicks are going to look into signing Fred Van Vliet this offseason as well. And the uh, Raptors beat us in five. Okay, so we do lose. So it doesn't look like we're ready for a championship just yet, which is fine because I wasn't trying to like go all for it in this year anyway. But let's go straight to league meetings and uh, let's get this over with. Draft lottery. I don't think we're going to have a lottery pick because obviously we were just a playoff team. And yeah, we don't. Okay, so we do end up with the can i see i don't see oh 26 pick okay so 26 pick in the draft lloyd pierce are still our coach i'm gonna go ahead and keep him i guess randy martin does not have an a training which is really disappointing but we're gonna have stephen dawkins and uh also randy martin coming in and uh real quick guys as i'm uh, going through this offseason i know some of you guys have been asking me about uh the streaming thing lately you know what I've just kind of uh, lost a little bit of motivation here. Uh, a little bit of motivation right now. And I'm also super busy with school. So I am going to be trying to stream again soon. I promise. It's just the motivation, man, has been kind of killing me lately. But regardless, the show must go on. We're going to trade Dwayne Dedman to free up this cast space. And it looks like Milwaukee wants to give me a first round pick, which I might end up doing. Pelicans want to give me one as well. So I'm going to do it for the Milwaukee Bucks pick. And uh, we jumped in the draft. I actually didn't mean to. They end up taking a 74 at the 26th pick. Uh, team player options, Trey Young, Kevin Reddish, DeAndre Hunter. Uh, we're going to accept those. Qualifying offers, Bogey, Scalabis here, Damian Jones, John Collins, Charles Brown Jr. We'll go ahead and accept those. Moratorium day. We still have money left over. So even with Buddy Heald's contract, we still have some money. How much money do we have? We have $14 million, and I think we also need to resign John Collins. Yep, and Bogdan. So we may not have as much money as I thought we would, but it's still a little bit. 
So, unfortunately, Buddy Heal just had a great season for us. But if I can trade the man for something better, you know, I definitely will. So, let's go ahead and see. Like, Tyler Harrow is out here, but I'm not going to do that. Obviously, Mitch Robinson. Uh, you know what, actually? Tyler Harrow could be interesting. We also trade Bruno Fernando. How many years does Tyler Harrow have left on his contract? Okay, he has two years. That frees up like $20 million in cap space, guys. It frees up like $20 million. But he yields only an A2 overall. Tyler Harrow, we're doing it. Let's bring Tyler Harrow to the team. That's going to free up so much money. And we could honestly sign like Giannis or Kawhi here. And we could be chilling. And we'll also re-sign John Collins, obviously. So let's go ahead and give uh, Collins his money now. So let's go ahead and give that money up. I do really want to re-sign Bogdan as well, just because he was really good for us. But let me see. He's restricted. So let me see if I can actually, let me do that. So let me sign him to a deal as well. And let me see if I can get Giannis to come to Atlanta. That would be kind of insane if I could do that. Uh, Kawhi. I mean, Kawhi. Oh, look. He's wanting to go back to the Raptors, man. Should have never left him in the first, uh, first place. So let's go. Kawhi. Sign him up as well. See if we get one of these guys coming to Atlanta. And we get Giannis Antetokounmpo signing his contract. Okay, that's nice. Can Kawhi go to Toronto? Of course, Kawhi is going back to Toronto. I think we're going to get all three. Let's go, baby. We got Giannis, Collins, that's what I'm talking about. Giannis Collins and uh, Bogey back. So we're going to move Giannis to small forward. That's going to be great there. So I'll we'll have Trey Young, Tyler Harrow, Bogdan, uh, Cam Giannis, Cameron Rice, DeAndre Hunter, Okapala. We don't need this many small forwards at this point. So I'm going to trade probably Hunter and Okapala for a backup big or a backup power forward. So Hunter and this guy, Brooke Lopez pops up. Mohamed Bamba making 14 million. Brooke Lopez uh you know what we get a first round pick out of it as well not my eh, favorite trade in the world but we got it regardless so that's one two three four five six seven eight we also need like a backup point guard or a backup power forward so i think i'm gonna trade this other rookie that we de don't really need i see carson edwards uh daniel house uh alfred Camino is out here as well i i'll probably just sign somebody because i don't think i see any great offers monte morris wants some money i'll go ahead and sign him and i think we're all locked in into our rotation for season number two. I really like it, how it looks right now. So we're going to go ahead, uh, use our training camps, look at the rotation in the season number two. Oh, hey, look. Draft class still don't work on this damn freaking game. For season number two is absolutely insane. We have Trey Young, Tyler Harrow, Yas Antetokounmpo, John Collins, Clint Capella, Cameron Reddish, Mo Bamba, Bogey, and Monte Morris. I really like this rotation. I expect nothing less than a championship this year, to be honest. With Giannis Antetokounmpo coming here, seven seconds, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. And real quick, guys, as I'm signing Giannis, we kind of talked about him earlier with the MVP award. If you're watching this right now, let me know down in the comment section below. Do you think Giannis Antetokounmpo has any skill? Because I've seen some people say that Giannis basically has no skill. He's just tall, athletic, and can drive. That's all he does. Let me know if you guys uh, agree with that statement. Let me go ahead and uh, simulate the second season though and let's see if we can win more games than last year and let's see if we can go farther in the playoffs and of course also let's see if we can win this championship it's the mvp award with 24 and 12 points eight assists 50 60 30 ron mcdaniel is your rookie of the year dinwiddie is your six man on the spurs yon's on kumpo defensive player john Rance most proved and lloyd pierce is your coach of the year as we went 72 and 10 so we absolutely destroyed it this year which is pretty obvious with the team we put together we had a really nice roster Giannis, all NBA first team. Trey, all NBA second team. And then you got D'Lo, Harden, Zion, Jim Butler, Nikola Jokic, Ben Simmons, Paul George, Giannis, Antetokounmpo, Davis, Gobert. Uh, and then all defensive second team, all rookie first team, all rookie second team. Although we don't know the rookies because 2K has yet to update PC draft class. Oh my God, bro. I just get so irritated talking about it every time. Uh, player stats, 28 points from Trey Young. So Trey Young actually led more than Giannis, which I'm kind of surprised about. But uh, Giannis was also 24, Collins with 19, Tyler Arrow with 15, Rush with 13, Bogey with 11, Clint Capella with 9, Mo Bamba. And yeah, we are big chilling, man. So let's go ahead and see what we got going on against the Cleveland Cavaliers who have Schroeder, Sexton, Harris, Drew Harden. Looks like the next James Harden. Drummond, Porter, Tristan Thompson, Garland, Larry Nets, Caruso, Osmond, Dylan Weindler. And yeah, this team, eh, it's all right, but it, it shouldn't beat us. We sweep them. Okay, so now I play the Philadelphia 76ers. Mike Conley, Matisse Thibel, Simmons, Kevin Love, Joel Embiid. So it looks like there's probably an Al Horford for Kevin Love kind of swap. No, there wasn't. Okay, so what did they trade for Kevin Love? I guess they traded Tobias Harris. Wait, did I see Tobias Harris in the Cavaliers? I don't think I did. I don't know, man. Whatever they did, 
they no longer or they have kevin love so we sweep them as well so they were no contest against us and now i play the brooklyn nets who have kyrie irving karis avert katie mkg starting at the power four that's a big yikes didn't this guy retire or is that marvin Williams? that's marvin williams that's actually marvin williams never mind i don't think mkg retired wait did he i don't know i think marvin williams did michael kid girl gil chris probably didn't he's only 28 but uh let's see what we can do against the, uh the brooklyn nets i should say we just rebuilt them last video uh we're putting drew holiday on the team so a semi current round and we beat them in six okay that was scary but now we're playing luka Doncic and the dallas mavericks who have jalen brunson luka joe harris anthony davis okay all right chris dash porzingis brooke lopez seth curry michael carter williams max kleba dorian finney smith and cindy marion wow this team is pretty nice actually so let's go game by game here game one goes to them game two goes to us uh game three goes to them game four wow bro we might actually lose this team i mean they do have anthony davis and all that so i guess i shouldn't be too surprised like this is a really nice team on paper but i feel like we should be able to uh wow 118 and 152 that's uh really nice can we push them to a game seven i feel like we should be able to here man let's see if we can do it game seven on the road in doubt or this is game six but can we force a game seven and yes we do 131 to 127 if this game seven is close even though i'm absolutely trash at 2k i feel like i'm i'm completely justified in potentially jumping in it and plus i have Giannis under kubo with who i can just drive with or drive with the whole time i'm playing so that's awesome so let's go ahead and uh let's see if oh wow this is a blowout bro this is a blowout we've only been recording for like 14 minutes so i'll probably jump in with like uh three minutes left and we'll call it game so 123 to 190 i expected a little bit of a closer series but hey we absolutely went off here and i'm gonna jump in now two minutes 54 seconds left let's finish off these dallas mavericks and let's crown the Atlanta Hawks champions. I mean, Trey Young guarding Jalen Brunson, and we absolutely foul Jalen, or yeah, Jalen Brunson in the air. We foul him. Uh, he's going to the free throw line right now. Is he going to make both of them? And they're going to sub. They're going to put in the reserves, which is no fun. Uh, honestly, would have rather have played. Uh, isn't there like a preset? Oh man, how do you do it? I I don't know. I I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, I guess we still have Monty Morris out here. Hopefully, I can ball with him. Let, let's see what I can work with out here. We have Scott Labis here. I'm going to shoot this for three. Monte Morris for three. Almost went in. Uh, but I know there's a way to sub in starters. I'm just going to start doing this, I guess. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I don't... I don't, you, Bro, I buy 2K every year just to play my league. It's like so crazy. Like, I play my career for just a little bit. And I haven't played my career since we streamed, to be honest. So, like, wow. I thought that was going to be a dump. But, yeah, I haven't played... I don't play 2K like that. I used to play against my friends all the time. But, uh... I don't know man just haven't really been playing like gameplay of 2k that's why you guys don't really see me doing my team or my career because i i mean i'm trash at the game i literally just play this game for my league that's basically all it is that's been how it's been since like i would say 2k i don't know man it's been yeah as you can tell i'm absolutely garbage but hey uh i'm not working with my starters out here so that's my excuse 103 to 134 they're definitely trying to score on us but yeah that's the truth man i i just don't really play this game outside of my league which is kind of unfortunate because i wish i enjoyed this game a little bit more like 2k fit back in 2k 15 i would play this game a lot like 2k 15 my career was the best in my opinion like i had a lot of fun with it and uh this one i don't know or just ever since like 2k 18 i just haven't really been playing like that i need yon's on a out here so i can like like score something because uh this isn't working so can i put Giannis must have fouled out. Okay, whatever. Let's go. Let's move the ball. All right, I need to score something because I'm absolutely trash right now. Can I get this layup or get fouled? No. 85% <laughs> contested. All right. All right, I need a foul. I need a foul. I'm getting Trey Young in here because I suck, man. I'm, get, I'm I'm playing like trash. Tyler Harrow and Trey Young are coming in here. Let's get a three off or something. Let's see what this guy can do. 105 to 134. I don't know who this is. It's Sean Marion at the free throw line, apparently. And we get the rebound. All right, Trey please make a three for me or something because i'm absolutely garbage at this game right now they're double teaming so i'm gonna send it to Bembry, and nope i'm gonna try to rotate it to tyler harrow and can i splash a three i was wide open i was actually wide open and i missed it bro i don't think i've made a single bucket i mean i got fouled i think didn't i foul wait maybe i fouled the other team 107 to 134 regardless let's go baby which report tweeting i don't care let's go um damian jones wide open let's go i get fouled all right 107 to 134 let's shoot these free throws 
And man, this game is basically over. I missed that one. Nope, made it. Okay. Uh, 107 and 135. Let's go, baby. And can we make this one? Yes, we can. So, hey, at least I made two free throws. At least I made two free throws. 107 to 136. Tyler Johnson, I'm not going to foul anymore. There's no point in fouling because we've already won this game. And he takes it in for a layup, makes a nice little uh, floater, which is nice. I want to get a three off with Trey Young if I can get one, but they keep double teaming me, I've noticed. So let me see what I can do here. Ooh, I like these dribble moves, bro. I like it. Um, Let's see. Can, no, no, that is not what I meant to do. <laughs> bro, I'm so garbage at 2K, man. I don't even know if I should be jumping in and get gameplay anymore, man. My allergies are killing me right now. All right, let's go. All right, 12 seconds left. I can prove that I'm at least a competent player in 2K with 12 seconds left on the clock. Can I do something that makes sense on this game? No, that literally made no sense. Okay, I am completely done, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My gameplay is atrocious. I don't know if I'm going to be jumping into the games anymore because I'm just terrible at this game. Thank you guys for watching. This is Crushables. I'm saying peace.